Hello everyone. Today we're gonna to be doing uh Legends COD Zombies characters tier list maker. Now from what I remember he did miss a couple characters. So um yeah <laughs> we're just gonna start from the beginning. Alistair Rhodes. As in the character he contributed he contributed nothing to the lore. But he just like mentioned most of all. I'm not counting the comics. I'm not gonna have to buy comics just to understand the, the story. Of a, of a a video game. That's like saying, yeah, you gotta read the um comics to understand the Marvel movies. <laughs> All right, obviously I have to put my boy Leroy in S tier. I, I can't really say much other than. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now we got Billy Handsome. Um, I'm gonna put him at a solid B tier. He's cool, but you know, he's nothing really much past the, you know cool persona or whatever. Tra or Bruno. I'm putting him in D tier simply because he's not annoying. Major Carver. Oh, he had a classic line such as, Shit, it must be Christmas. We should buy lottery tickets. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> it must be Christmas. We must buy lottery tickets. Just from that quote alone, he's, he, I'd say he's um, already contributed more than any of the Cold War characters, you know? Alright, then we have Fidel Castro. He's a goat. He's the embodiment of a Sigma, I guess. We're gonna have to put him under Major Carver, simply because he doesn't have any really iconic lines other than being him, you know? Then we have Danny Trejo, you know, he's pretty cool, but, you know, it doesn't really do much other than just be there. Maxis, Cold War Maxis. Or Samantha Maxis, that's oh. right. <laughs> Cold War Samantha. She, I mean, yeah, they made her integral to the plot, but like, boring she passed like the f second map she's I, I don't even know what she does like she's trapped in like this cage and then she like learns her powers somehow after that i, I don't even know i'm c tier all right primus dempsey s tier he's gotta be the go and then we have diego he was i'd say he's the best one out of all of them the, the chaos crew simply because well he wasn't really annoying in fact, he, he was kind of a, a pleasure to listen to during Ancient Evil. He actually had character development, un unlike any of the <laughs> Chaos crew. Alright, um, I, I know every character, unfortunately. She she actually does nothing. I, <laughs> I don't get the point of her character. She's literally just there. Alright, what who is this? Oh, this is Stanley Ferguson. Okay. He's pretty cool. I'd say he's above uh, Billy Hansen, though. Finn O'Leary, gotta put him at the bottom of B. Alright, and then we have the boxer. Now, I'd say the bottom of C tier. Then we have the Forsaken. Bro, this is such an asshole. Like, bro, come on. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, it turns out Zykov was the Forsaken. Oh, B tier. <laughs> then we have George Romero. He's a goat in itself. Uh, although I do hate him in Call of the Dead. I'm gonna have to put him at B tier. We'll, we'll sort this out later. Then we have Dr. Gersh. I'm glad he made the Gersh devices, but uh, it doesn't really do much to the story, so I'm gonna put him at C tier. Godfrey, um, F tier. Uh, but uh, we have Dr. Gray. That's her. That's the one that won't stop screaming in one of the maps. Not really, okay. She keeps chatting. Low key, yeah. She's not. I'd say she's probably. She's better than Dr. Shaw. Is that really saying much? I don't think so. Tier. Now we have Dr. Groff. Ooh. His quotes were iconic in DD. Tell me, tell me they weren't iconic. I'm gonna have yeah. to put him at low key A tier. He was a pretty good character. Also, Gersh, to be fair, flying around Gorod Krovi was pretty sick. Alright, now we have Jackie freaking Vincent. A tier. A tier at least. Then we have Jessica Rose, D tier. Kind of cringe, you know, woman. Right. Then we have JFK. He's the, uh. he's the GOAT. I'm gonna have to put him in A tier. I don't think I can put him in S tier simply because he's only there for one map. He doesn't compete to like, you know, the great Not situation. alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he did get game ended. He lost the battle royale. Alright, then we have Kravchenko. In the BO1 campaign, it's pretty good. But in the Cold War storyline, stinky. Like, I don't know what else to say. Man just showed up randomly. He just like, who shows is this up. Guy? <laughs> who is this guy with muscles? He's just there. I, I'm gonna put him in C tier. Probably there, F tier. Richard Nixon, Watergate, Marlton, we're gonna have to put him at Loki, he's not as bad as people say he is. I'm gonna put him at B tier. Oh actually no. C tier. Maxis. We have good old Maxis. He Loki a B tier character? He was super integral to the storyline, but uh I didn't really like him that much. I didn't hate him though. 
Definitely did not. Then we have Medusa. A, a nice little plot twist, but overall, they never took anything <laughs> with this story because chaos got cancelled. <laughs> if you knew anything about Greek mythology, you could see like the little foreshadowing. It wasn't really much of a foreshadowing after she said her sisters got beheaded. It was just kind of like, oh, Medusa. <laughs> and then we have... I forgot his name, the actor from Conte. Michael Rooker. <laughs> okay, yeah. Michael Rooker, he's pretty cool. Uh, I'll put him at C tier. Um, yeah, B tier. Misty. Alright. Nero. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put him at um, solid A tier. It was pretty fun. Jonas Quirker than the Kermis Nikolai. I don't think he should have been the one with the Cronorium. Thematically, with how Jason set it up, yeah, it makes sense. But I think it should have been Primus Nikolai. Or Primus Dempsey instead. It would have been it would have fit more thematically across the entire story rather than Jason's own little BO3 to BO4 story. Things like in Kino, you'd see, you know, all the four Ultimus characters are there. And then in Origin, we go back to that Kino room and we're um, watching through the perspective of Ultimus Dempsey. Now it would have been a great tie-in if they made the counterpart to Dempsey, Primus Dempsey, the one leading us to the future. But that's not what Jason wanted. Ultimus Dempsey or Nikolai is better than Primus Nikolai, just because he's funny. Then we have Robert McNamara. It was pretty cool. I liked him because you know they made him. He was better than Nixon, and I guess he, I'd say he was on par to Castro because Castro didn't really have any you know good quotes. He was just kind of there, but his presence was something else. So I would say he's a solid B tier. Simply because Castro's him. Brigadier, F tier. Worst character ever. Dr. Peck, D tier. Don't know how, why they made him survive. But yeah, he did. Obviously, you gotta put your boy in. Raptor 7, come on. He's the one who made it survive. Cold War. Unfortunately, you did get arrested with us. But yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> then we got Samantha's boy toy. He just kind of showed up for... He was only integral to the Outbreak stories. For some reason, he was just kind of there. Not even Samantha knew he was there, but, um... Although, I, do, I would make him better than Samantha, so B tier. Primus Richtofen. Immediate S tier. So is Ultimus Richtofen. Immediate S tier. So much depth. So much character development. Oh. <laughs> oh. Then we got Robert. Um, B tier. Ah. Uh, Everyone dogged on him, so C tier. Russman, mm, your boy, S tier. Sal Deluca, A tier. Samantha Maxis, not a Cold War story, the good story, S tier. Michelle Geller, she, I'd say she's a solid B tier. I hate, I hate her so much. <laughs> I can't even describe how much I hate her, man. Better not be talking about Christina from Dead of the Night. Ah, uh, Scarlet. Oh, uh, really? Scarlet. Scarlet. <laughs> 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 Cockleballed. I hate her. All she did throughout the the two maps she was in. Or, Hold on, no, ready? Yeah. Dad. That's all she said. Yeah, throughout the three maps she's in, all she does is complain about her dad. It's so cringe. Like, bro. She got daddy issues. It's it's so weird. Like, she has daddy issues and she doesn't at the same time. Like, it's like what? She's like, I don't hate you, dad, but I hate you. Like, <laughs> like what? Okay. Shadow Man, A tier. I think they didn't do enough with them. They were going in the right direction with the uh, Blood of the Dead's radios, but um, obviously due to budget cuts, they couldn't do much. So yeah, I think the extent to his character is A tier. Shaw, F tier. Uh, <laughs> he was he talked too much. He was just so annoying. I just realized Dr. Straub, Dr. Shaw, pretty, both pretty bad characters, but he didn't talk as much as Shaw. Stoolinger, solid B tier. Same same thing with um, Shadow Man. They didn't do enough with Stoolinger. Primus, Takio, A tier. Ultimus Takio was honestly a C tier character. He was just there for uh, Nikolai to make racist jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we got Ted, better than most of the characters here. A tier. <laughs> Ultimus Dempsey, an S tier. Valentina, don't even get me started on her. The Weasel, I'd say he's an S tier. Grigori Weaver. Weaver. Honestly, I think his name carries him. He doesn't really say much within the story. And I'd say, what's his name? Ravenor. He does way more than Greg than Weaver ever does, which is just the truth. You can't even say him. Uh, you can't even say him wrong. 
Sorry I didn't listen to all 639 intels. Okay? <laughs> You're just not a fan, man. What, what could we say? No, it's just a terrible way of storytelling. It's, <laughs> it's not good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, Craig Houston. I, I, I don't think it's your fault, but how it was happened. Alright, this guy. I don't even know who he was until, like, until they, they visibly said his name. And even then, I don't even know who he is. He's just there. <laughs> there actually was no reason to bring him in. He's just kind of there. Alright, we have Yuri. Uh, so I'd say a solid B tier. He got tortured. And then Zykov, the worst character. Brought him in one map, forgot about him for uh, the rest of the maps, and brought him back. Like, bruh. And yeah. Okay, Raptor 1, unironically, he's got to be dead over there. But there, yeah, that's good. Uh, and then that's it. See ya. Thank you.